Mei Lang Song, The Queen of the Peking Opera. Mei Lang Than was born on October 22, 1894, in Beijing, China. He was born into a Peking opera performing family and began studying the art at 8 years old and then began performing at age 11, playing the role of a female. It is tradition that men performing Peking opera assume the female roles. Playing these roles from such a young age, Mei became the master and would soon be known as the Queen of Peking Opera during his 50-year career. In 1910, Mei married an opera actress named Wang Minghua, and together they had one son and one daughter. Being married to Wang, Mei married his second wife in 1929 to another actress named Fu Zifeng, and together they had nine children. Being in this profession for 50 years, Mei starred in more than 100 roles, playing a range of characters including emperor's concubines, daughters of noble families, to female generals and goddesses. During his performances, he would transform the roles of women, demonstrating different personalities, expressive eyes that he became famous for, stage makeup, costumes, gestures, expressions, and poses. He would write his own plays and choreograph the dances, and that was just the beginning of the legacy he left to the Peking Opera. He incorporated different types of dances with a range of different props, including sword dances, ribbon dances, plate dances, horsetail whisk dances, feather dances, and floral sickle dances. With everything that he has done, he created the May School of Peking Opera. He revolutionized the art and made the May School the most influential one in China. The range of Mei Lang Feng's performances include The Drunken Beauty, Farewell to My Concubine, Beauty Defies Tyranny, The Fisherman's Revenge, and more. Mei also was the first to introduce the Er Hu a two-stringed instrument, into the Peking Opera, which now today, 65 years later, is now one of the most important instruments in the orchestra since its debut. May was also the first to introduce the Peking Opera to other countries. He traveled to Japan multiple times, traveled to the United States in 1929 with his performers for a two-week premiere during the Great Depression and had sold out in three days and also met Charles Chaplin and singer Paul Robeson. A few years later, May introduced the Peking Opera to the Soviet Union and there is where he met Konstantin Stanislavski and many other artists. After all of his visits, everyone felt that they could learn from the Peking Opera and May. Even in his 60s, May would get the strength and determinism to perform one of his famous female warrior characters. As his life came to an end on August 8, 1961, May's son, May Baozhu, took over his father's role on stage as well as ensuring him that the Mei Lang Fen School 
would continue on for future generations. On August 27, 2014, May Baoju led Peking Opera actors in several shows in the United States performing at the Kennedy Center of Performing Arts in Washington, D.C. Here, he continues the legacy his father created.